Hey, do buckers! I am in the basement, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, I'm currently uh, in the witness protection program, so I can't tell you where I'm at. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Uh, Pink Trail Porter from Diamond Bear Brewing out of North Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, they had this for the first time about a week ago uh, at the, the Whole Foods uh, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Got a little bar or pub area they call Brews. It's very nice. All the pints are five bucks. Uh, they have a, a ABV cap there at six seven. I don't. I didn't see anything on tap at the time higher than six three, but but the cap there at that particular bar is six seven. This is six three or six three no six two thirty eight IBUs. I remember I enjoyed it so I, I happened to look at their beer section before I left, and they had this. Uh, for eight forty nine a six pack, not a bad deal for a good craft beer. It's a very nice porter. Mm. The aromas are fantastic. I, I personally, right now, I'm picking up some some anise, uh, bits of cocoa, uh, some some toffee notes as well. I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, yap a little more. So every once in a while, somebody will watch me that just doesn't get what I do. <laughs> and I said it several times in other videos, but I guess, uh, you know, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm repeating myself constantly so that I don't say it for a long time. And then somebody will post something or leave a comment. And maybe, okay, so let me say this again. I have never called myself a beer reviewer. I do not do beer reviews. I'm popping a beer and having a conversation with y'all. I like it to sort of feel like a pub conversation, like we're just shooting the breeze, you and I. I do like to give some tasty notes when possible, sure, uh, but I'm not really doing a straight-ahead beer review. A comment was left that, that I should cut out the laughter. Oh, no, uh, the words were omit the laughter and chit-chat. Well, I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> what I do is laughter and chit-chat, man. There's a hundred guys out there doing dry beer reviews. If you want a straight beer review, there's a hundred guys out there to watch. There's probably more than that. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of my favorites, though. Um, uh, if I can think of them at the moment <laughs> that I'm doing. Well, actually, the guy you think does the best job doesn't do a lot of videos, but he's got a small amount of videos out there, is, is John the Brew Guru. Uh, mostly, but you got to look up his website, because as far as a written review, he's the best, in my opinion, brewguru.com. But as far as videos, uh, there's Jeff Lyons from NEBR. Jeff has arguably... The best voice. He's got that golden radio voice. Uh, he's got the best voice in the beer review business. Uh, he's just great at it. Um, uh, DJ's uh, BrewTube uh, does a great job. Of course, there's Greg Puffett. Well, Greg, Puck, Greg Puckett. What's in the fridge? Um, it's my first beer I stuck out. Uh, but, but, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm not remembering all the names at the moment, to be honest. But there's a lot of great guys out there, man. I, I, just not what I do. It was never my intention to to do the typical. Here's the beer. Watch me pour it. Watch me sniff it. Here we go. I may be pretentious for five minutes. Then I'm going to give you some tasty notes. And I'm going to tell you why what you're doing is wrong. And I'm going to tell you why um, what, what I say is absolutely right. And if you're wrong or some, if you disagree with me, there's something wrong with you. Uh, yeah, I just I've never got into that that pretentious. And there's, there's enough of those guys out there. Like one of the reasons, other than I originally started doing these as kind of a stress reliever. Now it's just become kind of, you know, a therapy for me, to be mm -hmm. honest, after everything we've been through over the last few years. I kind of do these more as therapy than anything. But the, but one of the main reasons I started doing the videos was because I, I thought it needed something else, man. <laughs> uh, it seemed like you had a lot of guys out there that knew beer that had absolutely no personality. I want to take it that other direction. So. I get that I'm not it for everybody. I'm not everybody's beer. I'm not everybody's shot of whiskey. That's okay. If I'm not for you, it's not a big thing. But, you know, don't leave me comments saying, say, well, you should change this and change that. Because, I mean, th th that's what I do. If, if what I do doesn't work for you, well, you don't have to watch me, man. <laughs> it's really that simple. 
And the honest truth is I would love folks to watch me. I really would. But that's not why I do it in the first place. You know, I just put these out there. I do the videos. Again, it's, it's uh, a lot of it's just therapy. It saves me from having to pay a therapist. Uh, <laughs> and I don't want to go into a therapist's office and talk about uh, the struggles that we've been through over the last few years. I would rather just pop a beer and talk to the screen. And sometimes that helps me relax and unwind so I can get through uh to the next period of time, I would say. So back to the beer. And I see that's why I do a pub conversation, man. See what I mean? Just having a conversation. We could be talking about anything, man. Today we're talking about my problems. <laughs> next time we'll talk about yours. Uh, tell me what's bothered you. I'll be I'll be like the dear Abby of <laughs> the beer video. You tell me your problem, I'll discuss it. I know, seriously. Okay. Again, much much like uh, the nose, I do get hints of of, of, of anise in the flavor. Um, I certainly get get just bits of cocoa, some toffee like those, almost these 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 rich uh, these rich port wine like notes. It's a very interesting porter. I am a fan. And again, it was only eight fifty a six pack, which is very reasonable. Six two thirty eight again are the numbers on it. It's just very enjoyable. It was very nice on tap. Um, it was it was beautiful on tap. I just had a good time at this place. Um, I don't remember how many taps, but they had a good number of taps. Uh, all all the pints were were five dollars, which isn't bad. Um, some places more, some less, but uh, yeah, I mean you do every pint was five bucks, so that, that was nice. You're paying five bucks a pint. There you go. They had a pretty decent variety. They had a, a bartender that knew what he was doing, which is always nice when dealing with craft beer. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Diamond Bear does some solid stuff. I've talked about them in several videos. I am a fan of, of Diamond Bear. Uh, they, they get overlooked by craft beer, the serious, pretentious craft beer snobs, because they don't really do a lot of over-the-top stuff. But... What they do is make solid beer, and I think that kind of gets overlooked these days. They, they kind of get uh, breweries that are just making styles, that are just making nice versions of a particular beer style, tend to get overlooked or called mediocre. Doing a great beer is never mediocre, folks. A beer doesn't have to have 100 ingredients to be a great beer. Just because a beer doesn't have 100 ingredients doesn't mean it's mediocre. This is a very solid porter. It does its job. Just because a beer doesn't have 101 uh, IBUs doesn't mean it's a mediocre beer. And I think that's the problem with a lot of craft beer drinkers have adopted this mindset that a beer has to blow your mind one way or the other or it's mediocre. I think that is a, a falsehood. You know, if a beer does justice to the style, it is never a mediocre beer. There you go. <laughs> See, this is what I do, man. If you happen to be watching me again, this is what I do. If this isn't your kind of thing, don't watch me again, man, because you're not going to like me at all. <laughs> I tend to get folks that either really like what I do, and it's, some left me comments. I, I think it's refreshing. I like watching you because you're different. You don't take it too seriously. You're refreshing you're, you're, and, and you're not pretentious. But then I get the other side of that says, you don't take it serious enough, man. You need to cut laughing. Don't laugh. You should never laugh while drinking a beer. Do not have a good time. <laughs> All right, buddy. I don't mean to make you fun of you. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you got that sense of humor. But uh, what am I like that? So there you go. Hey, I'm trying to be with us for once again alienating, alienating folks. Hey, I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're getting ready for New Year's. I hope y'all had a nice Christmas. I am Tom to Beer Whisper, and I approve this message, man. Uh, I tried to stop it. We'll stop it again. One more time with Neely. Well, son of a biscuit. <laughs> Keep missing the button, man. <laughs> My wife says I do that a lot, too, man. I need to get better.